Amber. Harry left his lunch at home, and I'm worried he'll go hungry this afternoon. Drop everything and bring him some food at the company right now. Mary, I'll have a meeting in 20 minutes, and I'm afraid I won't be able to return in time. Can't you please do this one small favor for us? Favor? You're always trying to take advantage of me, aren't you? Why should I do your job as a wife? It's just a 10 minute drive from our house to Harry's company, but it would take me 40 minutes to go back home and then another 20 minutes to reach him. Since you mentioned you'd be staying home all day, I thought I could ask you for your help. But if you're busy, I'll text Harry to have lunch with his coworkers. What? You want him to eat outside? It's expensive and not hygienic. Do you want my son to get poisoned, die, and then you'll inherit all of his property and leave happily with your boyfriend? You're always scheming. What on earth are you talking about, Mary? Don't accuse me unjustly. I never had such wicked thoughts. No wicked thoughts? Then why are you trying to pass your responsibility of taking care of your husband onto me? And I heard you made him cook dinner for you yesterday. How can you be so indifferent? Actually, in our household, we split the housework equally. If Harry cooks, I'll wash the dishes. If he does the laundry, I'll fold and iron the clothes. We're both comfortable with this arrangement. How can you let your husband do the housework for you? Is it because I often travel for work that you take advantage of that to force my son into doing housework? Didn't your mother teach you that taking care of your husband and your in-laws is an essential responsibility of a woman? Look at yourself. Have you fulfilled your duties as a wife and daughter-in-law? Quit your job and focus on being a good wife. Mary, since I got married, I've tried to balance both housework and my job. I don't see it as a burden because I want to make you happy. Can't you appreciate my efforts a little? Efforts? What efforts? Everything you do is a waste of time compared to your office job. Is your job more important than my son's well-being? You should always prioritize your family and take care of them diligently rather than focusing solely on your own business. And why haven't you given birth yet? It's been a year already. What's the reason for not having children with my son? Mary, please don't misunderstand. Harry and I are planning to have children, but I'm still young and have ambitious goals for my career. I can't afford to delegate three to four years solely to giving birth and taking care of children. I might miss out on many opportunities when I return to work. Nonsense. Every woman has to go through that. Embrace it. There must be a reason you don't want to have children, and it's not just because of your passion for your job. Speak up, Amber. Ah, I know the truth. You're with your mistress, and that's why you don't want to have kids, right? What? Mary, why would you think that of me? I've never had an illicit relationship with any man. Oh, really? Where did you go last night, then? Going out late at night is not something a married woman should do. You're acting like a spoiled woman. I had dinner with a business partner last night to discuss a big contract. I told you about it before I left. After the successful contract signing, my colleague and I went to a celebration party. But I wasn't late. I was home by 10 o'clock. Hmm. It sounds like an excuse. No other woman goes to work and comes home in the middle of the night like you do. You're not behaving like a family-oriented woman, Amber. Mary, I've explained this before. It's my job, and I have to do it. It's the modern world, where women can work just as much as men and not be confined to being housewives. I'm working hard to advance in my career, not idling around as you may think. My husband understands and supports me in what I do. Plus, you have your own career. So why forbid me from working? Can't you see how unreasonable that is? How dare you compare me to you? I have been a devoted wife and loving mother, and you have the audacity to question my abilities? Look at how I raised a perfect son. Have you given me a grandchild yet? I demand to know. Oh, really? But let's not forget. When Harry was a child, you were always away on business trips for months, leaving him to his father's care. He's not very close to you, is he? Even now, you're still frequently traveling for work. Weren't you going back to work for one month and then staying at home for one month? You know I work in tourism, and I often have to go on business trips to build sightseeing tours for customers. It's purely for work, not to seduce men like you. I'm just like you. I absolutely want to build my career. 
There is no other reason. Really? I'm sure you're lying. You even have the guts to bring your mistress home to cuddle. Oh no, you misunderstood. That was my new business partner. He's the person I had dinner with last night, Mary. Since it was quite late, he offered to drive me home instead of letting me go alone because it might be dangerous. The hug was just a polite gesture and we have no relationship beyond business. A polite hug, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Well, I'm aware of what you're trying to hide, so don't think I haven't noticed. It seems you and him have been having an affair for quite some time, doesn't it? Listen, Amber, nothing escapes my attention. Mary, what do you mean? I don't understand what you're implying. I've had my suspicions about you for quite some time now, Amber. It all started when I noticed you constantly smiling while texting someone. It seemed like a clear indication that you were having an affair. To confirm these suspicions, I discreetly checked your phone. Remember the last time I asked you to go upstairs to the third floor to get me something? You accidentally left your phone on the table without locking it. So, I had a chance to read your messages. What did you just say? You checked my phone? Mary, you're being incredibly intrusive when it comes to my privacy. That's something nobody should be allowed to do. Don't try to blame and guilt trip me. I have the right to investigate when I suspect that my daughter-in-law is cheating on my son. And as expected, my instincts didn't let me down. I stumbled upon a text message exchange between you and another man filled with heart emojis? Who else would exchange such affectionate and intimate messages with their partner if not two people engaged in an affair? So what is there left to deny, my dear daughter-in-law? Why do I have to explain something I didn't do? I've told you so many times, I don't have feelings for anyone else, and Andy is just a colleague to me. Furthermore, I demand an apology from you. You have no right to rummage through my messages and phone like that. There are many confidential messages and documents related to my company. What? Andy? That man's name is Andy? Uh, oh, it must be a coincidence. Yes, his name is Andy. Is everything okay? Do you know him? H how do I know him? It was just a mistake. But what? Now you dare to ask your mother-in-law to apologize to you? What did I do wrong? Until now, you still don't realize your mistake? Why do you always get annoyed and scrutinize me like that every time you talk about me going to work? I really regret that I let you move in with me. Ever since you moved in, you've always told me to quit my job just to be a housewife. Why? Because I know well that the world out there is full of temptations. And I'm afraid that one day you will not be able to stand it and will betray my son. And the truth confirmed what I thought. You have a crush on your colleague. Now explain your relationship with that man. Don't deny the wrong things you did. There is absolutely nothing going on between Andy and me besides work. The message you're referring to, which was filled with heart emojis, was simply a polite gesture after we finalized our contract agreement. Trust me, apart from those emojis, our discussions are strictly work-related. Anyway, I will talk to my son about this if you don't stop working with Andy. Oh no, from now on, I will ban you from going to work. Stay at home and learn how to be a filial wife and daughter-in-law and prepare to be a mother. Don't act like a spoiled woman anymore. I won't. I love this job and have put a lot of effort into it. And Harry himself is very supportive of me and my career. I won't give up my career so easily just because of one of your words. What else are you going to deny, Amber? I know it. I know it. You've been cheating on my son. I don't understand, Mary. What's wrong? Cheating? What do you mean? I've seen it with my own eyes. You don't have to pretend anymore. I caught a glimpse of my daughter-in-law engaging in a passionate kiss with another man right out in public. You pissed me off. Mary, what are you talking about? Kiss a man? Do you think you can fool me? I've seen it with my own eyes. I even took pictures as proof. But don't worry. I won't show these photos to Harry because I know it will break his heart. However, if you don't end this wrong relationship and quit your job right away, I'll send these photo proofs to your company and get you fired. Photo? What photo are you talking about? Don't act innocent. I've already sent the proof images to your email. 
pictures of you and your lover laughing and chatting, and even you taking the initiative to kiss him on the forehead, and the two of you gazing at each other with passion, I can't believe it. Mary, you seem to have misunderstood. I assure you, I haven't done anything wrong. It's possible that the angle from which you were observing us led to a misinterpretation. Andy and I were engrossed in a work-related discussion when, all of a sudden, he had something in his eye, and I kindly helped him remove it. It might be the moment you happen to witness and misconstrue. That's all. The truth is, we were simply engaged in a conversation about work and nothing more. But are you following me? I never did that. It's not a misunderstanding. Today, I had an appointment with my friends at a cafe opposite the restaurant where you were sitting. I saw you and that jerk sitting together right outside the diner. I had to be patient because I didn't want to be embarrassed in front of my friends and take pictures silently so you couldn't deny it. The proof is clear. How could it be wrong? Quit your job, cut all ties with that man, and be the good wife Harry deserves. Don't engage in an affair like this. I'm not lying to you. Andy is already married. His wife even knows me, and we've become friends. Andy loves his wife very much and takes his work seriously. How could he have an affair with me? Plus, I don't have any romantic feelings for him at all. My husband even knows him, and we used to go out to dinner with Andy. Mary, why do you insist on accusing me of having an affair? This isn't the first time I've worked with a male partner. What? He's already married. So what? There are plenty of married men out there who are still having an affair. You should come up with a better reason. Stop making excuses for your illicit relationship. I won't believe it. I just sent you some pictures via email. Check it out. Those are photos of me, my husband, and Andy's family having a picnic last week. Andy is an employee from my company's Canada branch, and he only came here to work for one month. He brought his family along, and since I'm Andy's only friend in the company, we went camping with his family last weekend. Now, do you trust me? What? What? Oh my God. What the hell is going on? The man in that photo is... Are you telling me the truth or not? Is that really your friend Andy? Yes, that's the Andy I told you about. But I thought you already knew him. Why are you asking me that? No, I've never seen Andy's face clearly. Both times I saw him from a great distance, so I couldn't imagine what he looked like. Why is there such a coincidence? Why are Andy and his family here? What's wrong, Mary? Why does it look like you're... Losing your temper? Are you okay? No, this can't be true. I've been trying to hide this for decades. I can't let things fall apart just because of you. You must sever all ties with Andy immediately. But I made it very clear that I wasn't having an affair with Andy. That's not a problem anymore. As long as you promise me, you will never let Andy and Harry see each other again. And you have to cut all ties with Andy too. You will have to quit your job at this company. If you can do those things, then I promise to never doubt you for no reason, won't interfere in your marriage, and will let you focus on your career freely at another company. Never tell Harry about this conversation. Huh? Mary, are you okay? Why are you suddenly so flustered since I sent you pictures of Andy's family? Is something wrong? Don't ask for anything more. You just have to do what I say. Do you understand? Okay, okay, Mary. I'll do that. Mary, we need to talk. This is a deadly serious problem. I... I know everything about you and Andy. What? What are you saying? I do not understand. But why are you still talking and hanging out with Andy? You don't care what I say, do you? No, Mary. You know what I'm talking about. You're just saying I can't talk to Andy anymore. But you're not forbidding me to talk to his wife, are you? The other day, after you acted quite strange and scared after seeing Andy's picture, you became extremely suspicious. It's like you're hiding something from me. So I decided to find the truth and showed your picture to Andy's wife. What did you do? Did you show my picture to Aurora? How dare you do that? I said I didn't know them at all. Oh really? Yet your response makes it clear that you know Andy's family very well. I never told you Andy's wife's name, so how did you know her name is Aurora? You must have misremembered. You told me her name before. Yeah. I am sure about that. No, Mary, I never mentioned the name Aurora. Oh, is that so? Then I must have misremembered someone else's name. You know, the name Aurora is very popular. Stop making ridiculous excuses. Just tell me the truth, Mary. 
When I showed the picture to Andy's wife, I had many answers in my head. Is it possible that Mary is related to Andy? Or do you owe Andy some money and are afraid of being found out? Or is it even possible that Mary and Andy were once lovers? But Aurora's answer really blew me away. So, so what did Aurora say about me? She said, she said, you are her mother-in-law. And that means you are also Andy's biological mother? How is all of this possible? Don't you only have one son, Harry? So why is Andy your son too? Impossible. She must have mistaken me for someone else. It's probably because her mother-in-law is not often at home, so she doesn't remember her face well. You know, I have a very common face. Did you see that, Mary? You're losing your composure. Firstly, Aurora also showed me her wedding photo, which includes her mother-in-law. And that woman is you! I'm definitely not mistaken because you have a mole on the right side of your left cheek, and that woman in the picture has it too. Secondly, how do you know Aurora's mother-in-law is often not at home, when you always claim you don't know their family at all? Unless, you're the mother-in-law. Also, I compared the times you said you went on a business trip, which is the time when Aurora's mother-in-law was at home in Canada. Conversely, the time you spend at home with me and Harry is the time you spend away from Canada. How is this all just a coincidence? No, it's not like that. You have to believe me. Mary, tell me, is Andy really Harry's brother? Is Andy the boy you lost as a kid? I'm so confused here. Everything. Is it really impossible to hide it anymore? I thought I would be able to hide this and live happily ever after with two different identities. Two different identities? What do you mean? Actually, you're right, but only partially. Andy and Harry are real brothers, but they're half-brothers. They are both my sons, but their fathers are different people, and neither Andy nor Harry knows anything about each other. This is exactly what I've been trying to hide for the past 30 years. So what does that mean? That means you've lived two different lives for the past 30 years? That's right. Just to be clear, I've had two completely different marriages. One here with Harry's dad, and another in Canada with Andy's dad. I'm officially married to Harry's dad and have a very happy marriage. But you know, I'm also a woman who loves to work and has traveled often. During a business trip to Canada three years ago, I met and fell in love with Andy's father. But since I love both of them, I decided to take advantage of the feature of my job, which is to move frequently to live two different lives. How could you... how could you do that? I use the reason that the marriage registration procedure between the two countries is very complicated. So Andy's father and I are still not married, but just live together as husband and wife. Every month I'm with Harry's dad. Next month I'll be moving to Canada to be with Andy's dad. You can ask Harry. When he was five years old, I lied that I had to go on a business trip for a year, and until Harry was six years old, I didn't come back to America. That was the time I got pregnant and gave birth to Andy. So, so that's why you don't want me to go to work, right? Are you afraid that one day I will also fall in love with another man and abandon your son like you treated my father-in-law? That's right, that's right. It's embarrassing to admit this to myself, but I still feel shame and guilt. Every time I want to confess the truth to everyone, I feel the fear of losing all the people I love most at once. So I keep quiet and continue enjoying. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You've been living a double life, deceiving everyone for all these years just to keep your secret hidden. Please, Amber, try to understand. It wasn't an easy decision and I never wanted to hurt anyone. I thought I could manage it all, but it spiraled out of control. You thought you could manage it? How can you be so selfish? You've been living two lives, playing with people's emotions, betraying not only your family, but also Andy's family. Do you realize the pain and suffering you've caused? What if Harry and Andy found out that the mother they had always loved was such a lying, selfish, and heartless woman? Amber, please, I'm begging you. Don't tell anyone about this secret. I know I messed up, and I'm ready to face the consequences but I can't bear the thought of losing my family. Please, promise me you won't reveal this to anyone. This is a big secret, and I can't bear the burden of lying to Harry like you did all these years, Mom. He deserves to know the truth about his own family. Please, Amber, I promise to love and treat you gently from now on. 
I'll do anything to make things right. If you agree to help me keep this secret, I will leave all my property to you in my will. I can't believe you're trying to bribe me with material things, Mom. This is not about property. It's about honesty and trust. I can't betray Harry's trust by keeping such a significant secret from him. You're being so stubborn, Amber. Can't you see I'm doing this out of love for you and your family? Love should never be built on lies and deception. I won't be a part of this any longer. Harry and Andy deserve to know the truth about their own lives, and I won't be the one to hold that back from them. If you dare to tell them, Amber, I'll make sure you regret it. I'll ruin your reputation and your career. You'll have nothing left. Is that how you want to handle this? By resorting to threats and harming your own daughter-in-law? I don't care about you or anyone else if you dare to ruin everything I've worked so hard to keep hidden. You ungrateful, disrespectful girl. I raised you as my own and this is how you repay me. After all I've done for you and Harry, I regret ever letting you into our family. I'm not being selfish, mom. I'm standing up for what's right and for the truth. You should have done the same thing from the beginning. You have no idea what it's like to live with the weight of this secret on my shoulders. I did what I had to do to protect everyone. Protect everyone? No, you protected yourself. You want to keep your comfortable life, so you lied and manipulated everyone around you. You're not a loving mother. You're a selfish coward. So, the day finally came when I couldn't bear the weight of Mary's secret any longer. I knew I had to spill the beans no matter the consequences. And let me tell you, it was one heck of a roller coaster ride. I gathered everyone in the living room, and the tension in the air was so thick you could cut it with a knife. As I mustered the courage to drop the bombshell, you could almost hear the gasps echoing in the room. I mean, can you blame them? The truth was juicier than a soap opera plot. The dads, Andy's and Harry's, were devastated. Imagine finding out that your wife had a secret affair with another man all these years. Ouch, that hurt. They decided right then and there to kick Mary to the curb and cut ties with her for good. No forgiveness in sight, folks. Harry and Andy were shell-shocked too. Their idolized mother turned out to be the queen of deception. It was like their whole world came crashing down. But you know what? They stood strong, held hands, and decided to move on together as brothers. But wait, Mary wasn't going down without a fight. Oh no, she cried and begged like there was no tomorrow. But her tears were as fake as that designer handbag she loved to flaunt. We had seen through her act and ain't nobody buying it. And then things took a crazy turn. Mary lost her cool and decided to go all WWE Smackdown on yours truly. Can you believe it? But thankfully, the family jumped in and saved me from a total beatdown. Thanks guys, I owe you one. Now Harry, being the smart cookie he is, suggested I sue Mary for assault. And guess what? She ended up behind bars for three whole months. Karma's a real bit... Um... You know what I mean. So, while Mary was busy practicing her tough act in jail, we packed our bags and moved to a new place. We needed a fresh start far away from the drama she had caused. And you know what? It was the best decision ever. Gradually, Harry and Andy started accepting the reality of being brothers. It was a bumpy ride at first, but they soon realized they had each other's backs. Ain't no secret gonna tear these bros apart. Yeah, the truth was painful, and it turned our lives upside down. But it also set us free from Mary's web of lies. We vowed to stick together, heal, and rebuild our family. And you know what? We're doing just fine. Sure, there are scars, and the past will always be a part of us. But as long as we're together, we know we can face anything that comes our way. Families got each other's backs, and that's what counts in the end.